The backlash for Amazon over the Rings of Power series has been absolutely massive because Lord of the Rings fans know this has nothing to do with Tolkien. And every time the showrunners, the actors, anyone involved with this project opens their mouth, fans are more and more convinced that this is going to be a complete and total dumpster fire. But they have a lot riding on this series. It's only a few months before it's supposed to be released and you're talking about the most expensive series of all time. Half a billion dollars going into one single season. But every time they release new promotional material, this is what happens. And at San Diego Comic-Con, things got even worse. This is now number six on Trending, released a few days ago. Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, San Diego Comic-Con trailer. Again, 157,000 downvotes to 61,000 upvotes. And you can go on any place that it's mirrored. It's a similar situation. Every time they reveal a little bit more something else here, something else there, fans realize that, yeah, this is not Tolkien. This is not Lord of the Rings. It has nothing to do with that universe. And they're just using it to push whatever they want. Even the Q&As that were out there with the actors and actresses that are a part of this similar situation for Prime Video. 2.7,000 downvotes to 700,000 upvotes. People are not feeling this. They are making their voices heard because everything that comes out of it, they realize it's not made from people with good intentions. It's made from people that want to destroy the lore in the world of Tolkien. And at the panel, Stephen Colbert, they brought out Stephen Colbert to shill for this, making a pretty big mistake, claiming that Celebrimbor was the one who actually created the One Ring when everyone realizes that it's Sauron. You don't even have to be a big fan to understand that. But again, these people are just hacks. They're just shilling for this product to try to convince people to get excited about it. But while they're doing the best they can, the actors and actresses specifically are out there talking to the press and everything that comes out of their mouth makes it worse. Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power star credits show bosses for giving female characters agency. We don't serve the men around us. Man, if only we'd seen that before in Lord of the Rings. If only we'd seen that from Tolkien. If only we'd seen that from, hell, the Peter Jackson trilogy in Lord of the Rings. Oh, that's right. We did. This is not something new, yet it, it continues to be something that people try to brag about as if it's the first time it's ever happened. And that's exactly what she's doing here. Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Powers, Nazanin, Boniandi, I think that's how you say it, Boniandi, has celebrated the female characterization in Prime Video's imminent fantasy series. Yeah, it's clear, it's clear from all the trailers that, that that's the way you're going with this. Strong female characters, Galadriel doing things that Galadriel never did. We understand, we get the picture. Soon to be seen in the Southlands Apothecary owner, Bronwyn, the actress, known to Homeland fans as this person, attended Comic-Con this week, where she told Digital Spy and other press about the agency given to female characters. What I love about the writers of this show is they've given every woman on the show, every female character, such agency. We don't serve the men around us. We have a storyline and our own right. And this is my favorite part. Uh, Boniandi continued, for Bronwyn, she's a healer, but she taps into her inner lioness. And I, as an activist... As a longtime human rights activist from my homeland of Iran, which you were just like, you spent like a, a month there when you were born. No, don't pretend like you grew up there or something. I tapped into what I believe women are doing for my homeland. And playing with characters sort of liberating and redeeming to the Southlanders who ba back, you know, in her ancestors day chose. Uh, so that's a little bit. We also have other female cast members. You know, this is Disa the Dwarf right here. British actor uh, Sophia Namvet says the series would help create accessibility for generations to come. My character is the face of necessary redress of balance. The British actress said Amazon series would help create accessibility for generations to come. Yeah, as if people had a problem getting into Lord of the Rings. As if people had a problem getting into this series. I, I really don't think so. I don't think anyone's ever had a problem with it. I don't think, you know, black women, I think there's black female Lord of the Rings fans before this series came out. Uh, I don't think this is going to create too many new ones because again, this isn't Tolkien and this isn't Lord of the Rings. Her character, Disa, is the first female depiction of a dwarf ever shown within the franchise and one of several people of color within the cast. That's, that's not even true. Like, what, what are you talking about? 
within the franchise, uh, they're absolutely were depicted in Tolkien's work, but of even if you're talking about The Hobbit, they were depicted in The Hobbit. So you're not even right about that. You're completely wrong, but these people are trying to pretend like they're the first ones that did it. Disgusting. Um, but anyway, uh, let's go on. Uh, we're redressing the balance within the films and television, television industry, and of course, this franchise, and I hope lots of franchises moving forward. These are the best people for the roles, but what they've done is open up the doors for people of all backgrounds to come forward and have the opportunity to rise, to be part of creating accessibility for generations to come, for new generations. This is their version of Tolkien. This is what my daughter will see of Tolkien's works. This is, uh, there are no versions of Tolkien, you stupid. Stupid fucks. This is why actual fans are so upset. There's Tolkien. That's it. Bottom line. And this series has nothing to do with it. Another quote. It's their time, and it's so important. I hope many people see this fantasy and be able to relate to it. This is a reflection of the world we live in. There are many, and we are different, and we will embrace and discover and peel back and learn and educate and be educated. And we can only do that when we embrace and love our differences. There's a little quote from her too. This is a different interview where she talks about very many of the same similar things. You can hear her speak about it. Tell me a little bit more about Princess Disa and the fact that you are the first black woman to be a dwarf in Tolkien and the first woman to be a dwarf in Tolkien. But what do we learn about woman dwarves that we didn't know through your portrayal? The idea that you're saying in Tolkien is disrespectful and disgusting to a lot of people out there because it's a farce. The first female dwarf in Tolkien. Are you kidding me? Even, and we just said they had female dwarves in The Hobbits. These people do not know the franchise. Well, we learned that they exist. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> and thank you so much, Angelique, for um, noticing and acknowledging the fact that this is the first time that we see a woman and the first time that see we, we see a black woman in this area and this world and these works of Tolkien. You know, this is, a, this is necessary. This is a revolutionary moment for cinematic and, uh, and television. Uh, and it is an honor to be a host of that. What we see is a great amount of relatability with DC. You know, she is a mother, she is a wife, but she also has magic she has magical powers and she has this passion and ambition for her people for yeah she has some crazy eyes right there didn't she there you go there's the crazy eyes there's the crazy eyes from sophia nam vet this is what happens when you get these people out there and actually start asking them questions. You realize they know nothing about what they're doing. It's all about virtue signaling. It's all about identity politics. That's what Rings of Power was based on. That's how they made this. And that's why the fans are seeing right through this garbage. This is not Tolkien. This is not Lord of the Rings. It's just a dumpster fire. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons, I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well, and I'll talk to you guys later.